Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we're going to be going over how to get RTX or a reshade in Roblox. So uh, before I get into this tutorial, uh, basically a reshade is just something that kind of goes over your game, makes it look like 10 times better. As you can see by some cinematic shots I took as opposed to your taking, you can see how like the game looks pretty good. Um, when we actually like get into like the game and stuff, I'll show you like the differences. And yeah, I, it's 100% worth it, and this is very easy to install. Like honestly, this video might even be under the five minute mark. But we're gonna see, uh, I'm about to actually go and record me doing the tutorial, and yeah, I'll be right back with you guys right after this clip right here. So if you guys are wondering how you install the reshade, uh, first of all, go to the link down below. It's going to take you to this website. You're going to want to click download right here. Now uh, it's going to get something downloaded and don't, don't worry. This thing doesn't have any virus or anything. You're just going to click download right there. It's going to take a moment or so to download, although it shouldn't be too bad. Then you're going to get this. Now we're going to cut over to my desktop and when we get to my desktop, I'm going to go over how to like install this and blah, blah, blah. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your downloads. Now, one thing I would highly suggest is you make a brand new folder, like one right here. So you're going to want to make a brand new folder and I'll just like name mine. For example, we're just going to name it Roblox Reshade because that's original, right? And you're going to just want to drag your thing in here. You don't need to make a folder, but making a folder just makes it like 10 times easier. So you're just going to do that. Then also I'll have a link down below to this uh, program I use called Zevinsip. You can also use a program called WinRAR, but Zevinsip, in my opinion, is much easier to use. And Zevinsip, very easy to install. You, It's very, like, uh, I guess, easy to... Uh, you don't need a tutorial for it. It's very straightforward, more or less. So what you want to do is you're going to want to right click, uh, then extract with Zevinsip, or however you do WinRAR, I don't really know. And then all these are going to appear. They're going to be like, okay, Blubber, what the heck do I do? Uh, honestly, you don't really have to do much. You just want to double click row shade setup. Just give it a moment here. Now it's going to ask you to press yes. Of course you want to press yes because you know, that's how you make it work. Then you're going to go through the setup wizard. Now, before you guys leave, I'm going to direct you through this because you do want to follow these steps right here. So you're going to click next. You want to click, I agree. Then next, then you want to make sure you install everything real quick. So yep. Yeah. And install this will take a moment or so to download but here if you click on details it kind of tells you everything like all the process going through and all that so let's give it a moment and now it is installed so we're gonna cut this we can do it for any game you want but yeah we're gonna go and cut ahead to this to a roblox game and go test out the menu okay so we are now loading into a game called selfless florida i don't know it's being weird we're gonna give it a moment because we are going into my private server and i'll cut ahead when we get into the game Oh, there we go. We are already in the game. Did not even have to make an edit here. Now we're going to be... Just give it a moment. I'm sorry. The game is taking a little bit to load. Okay, so you're going to likely hop into your game. You're like, okay, I installed these shaders, but they're not exactly working. Well, what you're going to want to do is... Oh, crap. I actually enabled the thing to enable just to disable the reshade. That's not what you're going to want to press. Uh, for me, it's F7, although I believe you do want to press home on your keyboard. So home should be near the top right of your keyboard. You want to press that. And I'll, what I'm going to do is... Yeah, see... I, I'm pretty sure 99% sure home is the enable key. If not, I'll leave like a pin comment or something stating what key it actually is. And here you want to like go to all these like things. So, so for example, for the overlay, I have it enabled to F7. And for the effect toggle key, I have it enabled to F8 so I can disable and enable the effect anytime I please. Now that you have like all that sorted out, just set it to whatever you want to. Uh, you're going to want to go to home and you're going to, you're probably going to be set to something like that. Go down and you're going to see high end, low end, and medium end. Uh, depending on your specs of your computer is what you want to choose. So for myself, my computer can easily run high end, so I'm going to choose high end. Although you can go low end, and here, if I enable this, so these are the shaders on with high end, but we go with something like low end. Let's go with that. It still looks good. Obviously, it isn't nearly as detailed. Then there's obviously medium end. Like, and the medium's kind of like in between. But yeah, here's high end. And yeah, all around, it looks pretty good in my opinion. And like here, I'll like look at my avatar. This is with the, this is with the reshade. This is without, with, without. We can even spawn in a car here. So one thing that does suck about these reshades is that sometimes it does kind of make the menus hard to read. So here's like a car without the reshade enabled. And here it is with it on. Just like notice how much better it looks. It's kind of crazy if you ask me. Also, one more thing, I believe, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's with this reshade as well, or, no, uh, okay, never mind, I was thinking a different reshade, apologies, but yeah, then that's kind of it when it comes to installing this reshade, very, very straightforward, and yeah, honestly, that's kind of it, 
Uh, I'll probably throw in another cinematic clip or so at the end. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more content on games like Southwest Florida, Greenville, Ultimate Driving, and all that type of stuff. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye, guys.